Tropical Storm Elsa is a potential threat to South Florida, but there is unusual uncertainty. I'm Jeff Hoffman from the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network Storm Center. The National Hurricane Center strongly indicating that it may not be until Friday night or Saturday before we really understand how this storm could affect Florida. So for now, this is what I want you to focus on. It's too soon to react, but of course, there's never a bad time to prepare. But go about your holiday weekend plans. Stay informed. Not only are we uncertain about the track, but the strength and the speed of this system by the time it potentially gets to South Florida on Monday. Here's a look at what was happening Thursday night. The storm did intensify just a bit. Winds up to 50 miles per hour. The forecast track really hasn't changed a whole lot. It's racing through the Windward Islands Friday, moving into the Northern Caribbean Saturday, and then at some point it's going to make that turn to the north and approach Florida or potentially move to the east or west of Florida. Check it out. I don't show these lines very often, but these are the potential paths based on all the forecast models and notice how they stray far outside of that official forecast cone. And believe it or not, we even have dozens more lines to look at. They're called the ensembles. And I want you to look at the right hand side of your screen. Notice how far outside this official forecast path these lines go to the east and to the west. So there's a potential spread here of over a thousand miles of where Elsa could track early next week. We do believe that there are conditions favorable for some intensification over the Caribbean. That's that red shaded region there on our tropical predictor map. But thereafter, of course, the interactions with the islands could really play a role in that. And we're confident on that track, at least through Saturday, because those steering winds are strong out of the east. But notice on this map, you see those blues and greens go away. That means the steering winds are going to be really lightening up Sunday into Monday. So that's why there's uncertainty on eventually where Elsa may track. So to recap, let's remain calm and not react just yet because of all the uncertainty. You're going to want to stay informed throughout the weekend as you go about your plans and preparations. And a great resource for you with official sources, our Florida Storms mobile app. From the Storm Center, I'm Jeff Hoffman.